Let's say the Ashanti region now, and academic activities at the Kumase Polytechnic has grinded to a halt as um, students demonstrate to demand accountability from their student representative council executives as the SRC. Agitated students have boycotted lectures, wielding placards and wearing red armbands and have besieged the campus in what appears to be a very chaotic scene. And uh, this report started coming in this morning and our correspondents in the region have been monitoring activities in the school premises and have indicated that it is because of issues relating to the expenses of the SRC contribution or XRC dues. So our correspondent in the region, uh, Abubakar, Ibrahim Abubakar, uh, has joined us on the line to let us know what's happening on campus right now. So this is, uh, those are images from the Kumase Polytechnic and clearly very agitated student body there. Let's go to the lines now and speak to Ibrahim Abubakar. Ibrahim, good afternoon. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. What is the good current afternoon. situation? What is the current situation on the Kumasi Poly campus? Well, currently, um, calm has been restored. Um, the director of the Polytechnic, Professor Nicholas, just in some few minutes ago, finished meeting with the students, and he has assured them that they will resolve the issue with the SRC. Um, um, executives, you know, the agitation all has to be about mismanagement and embezzle of students' funds. Mm -hmm. The students are accusing the SRC management for living lavishly on their money, and they claim they are using it to buy expensive cars, expensive clothing for their girlfriends, and iPhone and other things. And, you know, one interesting issue is that some of the students were raising questions that, um, there was supposed to be an SRC week last, um, to be organized by the SRC last week, and um, each per the budget, they were expected to use 25,000 cities, and each student was to be served a bottle of Guinness. That SRC week came on. The patronage was very low because they failed to advertise. So apparently about 3% out of the population made it there. And even that 3%, no one was served with anything, and the artists that were built to attend the Tawali and Stoneboy were not, were not there. So they want the SRC to account to them. That 25,000 cities, where has it been? And each student has paid 125 per semester SRC week. But then, right. any time there is an SRC activity, students are um, expected to pay additional money for trip and other programs. So right. they want to find out from the SRC executives where their monies are. They okay. should, they, it's just a simple thing. They should just come and account for, for the their monies money. that they used. But have you spotted or have you been able to speak to any of the SRC executives on campus? Uh, currently, none of the SRC executives are on campus. Um, we had, they've gone for a program at Takwa and uh, we tried contacting them, but then to no avail, none of them had his phone on. So for now, we've not been able to um, get the side of the SRC. Right. We were told that uh, because of the demonstration, um, lectures were also put on hold or students boycotted lectures. Have they returned to the classrooms or they've postponed that to another day? Yeah, today lectures uh, wouldn't be able to come on. You know, this demonstration, uh, it was organized impromptu. Most of okay. the students were not aware. They came for lectures from their homes, from the hostel this morning. And when they got to campus, there was a demonstration and most of the classes that have has been locked. So both academic and administration activities have come to a halt. But then now that the uh, issue has been resolved, uh, administration activity has started. But then for classes, they've postponed it to tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much, Ibrahim Abubakar. Uh, he is our Shanti Regional Correspondent and Monitoring Activities on the campus of Takrade, of uh, Kumasi Polytechnic, I beg your pardon, Kumasi Polytechnic.